Been waiting for the numbers all day. The job numbers are out. They're actually disappointing. Both to you, Mom, is back. She's live in Washington. And both to the number of jobs added last month, it was, well, well below expectations. Explain. Right, Sharon, we saw that stocks were even going up yesterday as folks were anticipating maybe 700, 800, 900 added jobs, 900,000 rather added jobs uh, coming out in this job support at 830 this morning. But instead, just 266,000 added jobs. So just a sharp decline from what we've been seeing. And I want to point out that job growth has been happening for the past four months, really uh, giving us that optimism that it's possible that the economy is coming coming out of the slump. And yes, the last quarter, 6.4% uh, from an economic outlook, that's the rate. And that's something that some folks were saying, hey, that combined with the jobs, we are doing pretty good coming out of this. But a lot of folks really disappointed, Sharon. Now seeing this number at 266,000. Uh, some of the reasons behind it, businesses struggling to find workers. We can anticipate that this is going to be something maybe on the airwaves this weekend. Republicans saying, hey, look, the administration, the Biden administration pumped all the stimulus money. Now folks may not want to go back to work. They're making more on unemployment. I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to see that argument coming out of the airwaves this weekend with a lot of Republicans because they were against that COVID-19 relief package as we uh, remember the number of people not in the labor force who currently want a job according to the jobs report was 6.6 .6 million i also want to point out that there's fewer remote workers coming out in this jobs report about 18 percent teleworked uh, remote work for pay so we're seeing that slow down a little bit as folks now come back you see traffic picking up in some cities as people are going back into the office so that remote work is also changing also a little bit of that disparity that we've been pointing out and who who has a job right now? Uh, so many folks who are lower wage workers continue to be in that place where they're not spending. They didn't come up during this time. Unlike other folks, white collar jobs where they've been investing, they've been flipping homes, they've been able to do more with the money that they've been making and work comfortably from home. So there's been that disparity that we've talked about. But again, I want to point out, Sharon, 266,000, a sharp decline, and something that a lot of folks are going to be disappointed in this report coming out just again at 8.30 a.m. Eastern this morning.